everybody? Well, seems like classes are rolling along, reality's back in motion, but don't worry, your boy's still here to bring y'all some home cooked recipes. And for today's episode, I'm gonna show y'all how to make the king of southern food. You probably got a good idea what it is, but if you don't, don't worry, because I'm about to reveal all this right here, right now, on Coog's Kitchen. My name is Jose Soto and this is Cook's Kitchen, the college survival cooking show where I teach you guys how to make some home cooked dishes away from home. On today's episode, I decided that I want to teach you guys how to make the most classic of all soul food cooking, fried chicken. Oh yeah, some nice, crispy, tender, flavorful fried chicken and you guys will not believe how easy it is to make this stuff. Yo, oh my god, I'm so stoked. So, why don't we get started? The ingredients we're going to need for this dish are buttermilk ranch. Tabasco sauce, oil, I'm using veggie. You can use canola or peanut oil, just be aware of any allergies. All purpose flour, three eggs, chicken, I will be using dark meat, and the seasonings. Black pepper, garlic powder, minced onion, paprika, and salt. Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna make is some flour mixture. I got my all purpose flour right here, and I'm just gonna take my pan, and open it up. Gonna fill this thing about halfway up, like so. And notice when you're working with flour, it's gonna create like a little mound right here. So what it helps to do is kind of shake it to level it out, and just continue adding more. And like I said, you want to go about halfway up your pan. Yeah, perfect. And that's gonna be about two, three cups of flour, give or take. Oh, and also too, if you do not have a pan, you can definitely use a bowl. If you just want something deep, wide enough just to dredge your chicken in, all right? So now, we're gonna add the seasonings. I'm gonna put in about one to two tablespoons each. This really just matters on your taste. You just want enough to just have enough flavor in your batter, you know? Nice. And also too, you guys don't have to really follow this exact uh, spice recipe. You can use whatever spices you want. Like I said before, that depends on your taste and what kind of flavor palette you have. Alrighty, so speaking of flavor, now we're gonna mix all these spices together. There we go. Nice. All right, so we're gonna clear this out, then we're gonna work on the next component. All right, so now that we're all cleaned up, hands are washed, time to make the egg mixture. So, simply, got three eggs, I'm gonna crack them to the bowl first. Uno. Uno mas. That means one more. This. Perfect. Alright. And to the egg mixture, I'm gonna add my boy Tabasco sauce. And like I said with the seasoning, you don't exactly have to use this sauce. You can use your Louisiana sauce you got on hand. Sriracha would be nice. You just want something like this, you know, to add some spice, add some color, and some tang to your chicken. Oh, it's awesome. So, I'm going to add about, say, one or two tablespoons, like so. It's going to be kind of tedious, guys. Bear with me here. Ooh, yeah, smelling good now. Ah, oh, I'm excited about this recipe, y'all. Let's see. Just a little more. Alrighty. Awesome, awesome. And of course, if you're not a spice person, you can definitely leave this out, alright? And now, for the final part of it. The ranch, buttermilk ranch to be in fact, and this is just something I personally want to add. I mean, you can't go wrong with ranch. Oh, and two, that buttermilk inside is going to help kind of tenderize that chicken too, so it's going to be nice, just melt in your mouth. Oh, I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. So, this time I'm just going to add a little bit. You don't want to overpower the whole mixture with the ranch. Just about a little less than a tablespoon right there. Nice. All right, gotta close your tops. Then, handy whisk. Mix everything all up. Woo. Man, that branch of Tabasco, it's getting saucy in here. Nice, excellent. <laughs> A 
pun was gonna come to y'all sooner or later. Alrighty. Now, now this is done, let's start assembling our chicken. Nice, as y'all can see, we got the whole assembly set, so let's batter some chicken. First thing, I'm gonna take a thigh over here, and I'm gonna dump it right into our egg mixture. And with the same hand, I'm just gonna swish it around, and you wanna make sure your chicken gets nice and coated. There we go, perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna let that drip a little. Awesome. Next, I'm gonna put it in our flour mixture. Set it ever so gently. And now, with the dry ham, I'm gonna coat the chicken with our flour. All right, flip it around a bit. And so as you can see, I'm kind of keeping one hand for the egg mixture and the other one for the flour. That mainly prevents, you know, like, it prevents clucking the batter overall. All right, so, I'm just gonna shake off the excess flour. Look at that, that looks awesome. See if we get to fry. Just set that down. How easy is that? All righty, y'all, well, gonna work on the rest of the chicken, and when I'm done, we're gonna get to frying. So, the chicken is nice and coated, you know what that means, time to fry. <laughs> Grab a piece of chicken and carefully place it into the pan. I've got the stove set to a medium high heat, keeping watch of any smoke. As you can see, the pan is filled about halfway up. You want to let the chicken cook for about 7 to 8 minutes on each side. When they're done, take a plate lined with some paper towel and place them on there to drain any excess oil. And when the meat has rested, it's time to eat. <laughs> right, y'all. Oh, I mean, I just could not wait to finish cooking all the chicken, you guys. I had to grab one where they were still nice and fresh. I mean, look at this. Look how just nice and golden that is. Oh my God, I'm excited. So which one should I go for? What kind of a question is that? I gotta go for the thigh first. <laughs> all right, so, bottoms up. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. That's outrageous. Oh, that's outrageous. The flavors. Chicken's nice and juicy. The skin. I mean, I don't know if you can, that's not a chip crunch, but this is good stuff, y'all. Oh, it's banging. I'm really happy with how this turned out. But hey, as always, don't take my word for it. Let's take it to the campus. <laughs> I would definitely like recommend this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And so I got to ask you though, would you believe me if I were to tell you that this was made in one of the kitchens inside these dorms? What? Yeah. Are you serious? No, but the fact that I do know you, yes. But nice. this is amazing, dude. <laughs> this is straight up amazing. You didn't make this in that dorm. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, this is like blows me out of the water when it comes to like dorm food. You know what I mean? Hey. All right. So last question. How do you feel about going into the new semester, man? Dude, I'm really excited. It's been a good year. You know, school's going good. Uh, it's, it's cool seeing the new freshmen come in and uh, yeah. walk out. Uh, the two TV, everything's good. So I'm really excited. Um, I feel really good. I mean, it's it's technically my senior year, but I mean, uh, you know, it was uh, it's my second semester here. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a sophomore. You know, that first freshman year was a little rough because like you know I was getting used to like big university. Yeah. I came out from community college, but you know I'm enjoying it. Nice. It's definitely good. And you know I get to eat good food like this. I am so excited. I love it. It's my first semester, and I already got my own uh, radio show, a cool yeah. radio. Guys, Monday, nice. Mondays at 11 a.m., guys. Tune in. It's going to be about relationships, conspiracy theories. I'm going to introduce 
new artist. Ooh, cool, so cool. In. This is Sohil Neji. Neji, man. Right here is Ed. This is Jill, correct? Yes. This is Eric Charles. He is the executive producer at Coop TV. He is the uh, entertainment producer here at Coop TV. Tune in to her on Coop Radio, y'all. He is the uh, station manager, station director. My title's there. <laughs> but hey, y'all, keep an eye out for Coop Radio. We got a lot of awesome stuff coming y'all's way. Yes, we do. Keep an eye out, y'all. Awesome. Go Coops. <laughs> <laughs> Go Coops. <laughs> well, y'all heard it. I guess you could say this dish was definitely a winner, winner chicken dinner. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, that was just a, such a cliche. <laughs> but I mean seriously though, this dish was super easy to make, very flavorful, I mean guys, this was such a keeper y'all. <laughs> well, that's all the time I got for the day. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Always remember that if a simple college student like me can make a home cooked meal like this away from home, then so so can you. Go Coops y'all, see you next time. <laughs>